So why this money is going to be going to Indigenous agencies uh, for commemorative efforts. Why that route instead of going to the families for commemorative efforts? Well, it's incredible, incredibly important for the Indigenous organizations who are applying for this $10 million envelope to ensure that the families are consulted and engaged throughout the entire process. In fact, uh, the applications that don't have a letter of support from families will be com considered incomplete. Okay, and so the deadline to apply for this funding is March 29th. That's eight weeks away. That's is. Are you concerned about a short kind of turnaround for applications? Uh, March 28th is the final day to put forward an application, and we developed this entire process in consultation with families, in consultation with the Indigenous Women's Circle that is directly guiding my department uh, at Women and Gender Equality, uh, and we anticipate uh, a significant uh, level of interest from communities across the country. Keep in mind, though, that this is a response to the interim report's recommendations. Mm -hmm. This is a response to what families across the countries have asked for. Mm -hmm. And if we receive a much higher demand than we anticipate, uh, we are open to considering the possibility of continuing initiatives like this. And what sort of uh, commemorative events or uh, things, I guess, do you expect to see? Look, there are ideas and families and communities across this country who are going to come together and depending on what families believe is appropriate, depending on the creativity that exists within Indigenous organizations, uh, we expect to see applications that come forward that are meaningful communities for communities themselves. Uh, vigils, workshops, we heard earlier today the idea of Sundance. Uh, we know that there are monuments across this country uh, that make people think twice on their way to work, for example. The whole point is to ensure that the stories of our stolen sisters finds a dignified and honorable place in Canada's story and that as we move forward, as we take one step forward on this difficult but important road to reconciliation, that the stories of the missing and murdered, including LGBTQ2S individuals, mm -hmm. is honored and helps guide us in our healing and in our work ahead. Well, we look forward to seeing what sort of events people come up with for this. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you.